What's going on guys? Oh my gosh, we got a huge topic we're going to talk about today in this vlog. Today, we're going to talk about whether I'm on steroids or not. Johnny! Oh it is just reviews. That's it. It's just reviews. It's clickbait. You know our dog has diabetes. Okay, so as you're seeing, we're uh, we're warming up right now. Keep it uh, really heavy today. Increments by five. So I'm probably gonna do four or five for five, four twenty-five for five. Hopefully four forty-five for five, and uh, probably do a top set after that with four seventy-five, and try to get that around four reps, and then back it off. So we're gonna do one more warm-up set with three sixty-five, and we're gonna hop into four or five and start our working sets. So just stay tuned, and you'll catch it right now. I say this a lot, but the weight feels super heavy right now, but watching back on the video, it looks like it's going up real smooth. So I'm just going to keep going with the goal I had today. So 455 is next, and then we're going to try 475 for hopefully four. So I'm about to hop into it, and we'll just keep digging. I really don't know why, but this weight is feeling stupid heavy today. But I did 455 for five like I planned. I am gonna go up to 475 for my next set. And I really wanna get four. If I can get five, that'd be a PR, but the goal is four. If I feel like I can get a fifth one, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And then I'm gonna back off. I'm don't, I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna back off to 315 or back to 405, but we'll know when the time comes. But right now, 475, four reps, right here. Oh, <laughs> 
Holy crap. I think that was a PR actually, I'm not real sure. But was not expecting to get 480 at all on deadlift. That's actually really shocking. I think the last thing y'all saw was me get 455 for three. And I just hit 480 for four. That is massive for me. So I really want to get to 600 on deadlift soon. Just like my squat. It's going to take a while though, I can already tell you. So I've been so stagnant on, my, on all of my core movements. And it's just really hard to, once you're at a certain point in lifting, it, it'll take you a year sometimes to go five pounds on your compound. But that's a huge PR for me. Uh, I'm about to back it off. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do 405 beltless or 315 beltless, but you'll see soon. But yeah, super happy, dude. Super happy. Uh, but we'll catch y'all in the next video. Oh my god, look at my hair. Holy crap. This is a, like a huge change. I haven't had a haircut this short in like like 2017. So I kind of just did it spur of the moment today. But oh my god, look at my hair. I'm out mean, like it. I really do like it. It was time for a change. Like my chance told me one time, he was like, you know, whenever you go for long hair for so long, it's good to look like a nice cut up like look. So I went for that. So now we're gonna roll with it for a little while, but uh, I got chest today uh, And I'm gonna take you to the gym. It's gonna get right down to it And we're gonna have a little talk when we get back. So stay tuned chest is coming up in three two one All right, we're finally at the gym. Uh, I thought I was gonna be lifting by myself today, but I got Lane He's hitting chest with me. So we're gonna get it in today uh, The goal today is 275 for hopefully 10. I've been getting it for nine recently, but uh, the goal is 10 and we're just gonna go from there, so stay tuned. Knock on some freaking wood right now, but it's feeling really good today. So like I'm really ready to get into 275 Because I might can get it more for 10 a day, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up. We still got a lot more sets You just got 215 for 10, right? I did. I did. I did. Yeah. I get 225 for like I think you get 225 honestly For like five, seven. Six, seven. No, seven. Right. Dude, because you got that tenth one and you probably could have got like two more Same Honestly, so I would say seven, no less than seven. I think you could probably get eight too. I'm not. I don't want to bust your bubble, but like you got it. Come on. Oh, oh come on, come on. Keep going. Three. Come on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What happened? I was totally confident you were gonna get at least seven. Dude, when you go back and watch 215 for 10, like, you're gonna understand what I'm saying. Like, cause you were yeah. just like, douche, 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 douche. Easy. 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 Easy.
Come on. Three, four. Come on. Five. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's easy. One more. Uh, ah. That makes no sense to me. Yeah. Two more. Oh. 275 just went up 10 times like I hoped. Here's the deal with Lane though. So Lane got 205 for 10. So like, oh dude, 225 easy, seven reps. Gets it for three. So we're like, all right, we'll back it down to 215. See if you can get five. Gets it for eight. If you don't get 225, for at least five reps right here, you gotta screech like a pterodactyl as loud as you can. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up. Oh. One more, one more. Come on. Up. Oh. Come on. Come on. All right, so going into my second set, usually after my first set, my chest starting to, starts getting fatigued, so I might get it for eight. The goal right now is for eight because uh, getting it for 10 back to back is kind of unheard of, so 275 for hopefully eight. We're gonna do a couple more sets after that, but we're about to watch it. Right, let's go. Let's go, get better right here. One, get better right here, easy money. Oh yeah, easy way. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Johnny, that's easy. Come on, explode up, explode up. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go, Johnny. Come on, explode. Get it. Yeah. Look at that. What up? Oh my, dude. Coming hey, back it, here. It's an honor to dude, work out right with right there is like Johnny the perfect Aker. lighting. The Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Aker. I'm a sponsor of Rain. Yeah, uh, use this discount code. We got uh, Tom Brady right here. Anyways. What's up, guys? With the Johnny Aker. And he's getting shredded. He's shredding his chest. He just hit 275 for 10 and then 8. He's going to get 8 more. Yeah. Dude, this guy. Makes my heart pound. All right, three, two, one. All right, let's go. Explode up, let's go. Go that way up. That boy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. All you got, let's go. Two more. Two more. Finish. Finish. Explode up. You got one more in you. Explode. Let's go. Get the weight up. Let's go. Get better. Get better. Come on. Lock it out. That a boy. You got it. Good. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, to hit it like another. Yeah, that was honestly. Yeah, I haven't hit it two sets of eight like that. Woo. So uh, two seventy five. Wow. Ten, eight, eight. Like I usually get around ten to eleven reps like on a good day, but usually on those next two sets, I'm usually getting like seven or six reps. So to hit it for one set of 10, and then the next two sets, eight and eight, I'm really happy with that. So my top set, what I usually do, four to five reps. My goal is to hit 300 for hopefully five. Will's gonna spot me. Uh, and after that, we're gonna do some back off sets, get a nice pump in the chest. And look at that. Oh my God, the lighting. Three, two, one. Light away, baby, let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, come on, get him up, let's go. Blow it up, let's go. Blow it up, let's go. 
You got explode another one. Up. You got another one. Let's go. Come on, explode push up. It, push it, push it. That's you. That's you. That that is you. Come on, finish. Go. I didn't help you. Oh, my dog, my boy, appreciate it, bro. Man. 300 pounds. <laughs> hey, you get that in your sleep. What you talking about? 300 for five? Oh, yeah. 300 for five. It was a great chest day. I wouldn't have been able to have done it. Uh, these cats in my corner. Yeah. But about to do some back offsets. And I might record the workout in there. I'm not sure. Got something to say. Okay. He did five. I went put my like two fingers on it that last one but um that was definitely all him and yeah, that big chest definitely bro look at, dude, look at that chest Ooh. bro look at those shoulders dude i give anything for those shoulders <laughs> look at look at that dude oh we're gonna catch y'all in the gym okay that concludes uh today's chest workout uh really good chest day it's been a really good week of uh working out other than squats this week but when i tell you like for a long time now, I've been like stagnant. Or not a long time. Like when I came back from summer, my bench started going up, my delts started going up. My squat even started going up a little bit. But over time, now you can come on. Over time, I just got stagnant throughout this semester. But, cause usually I can only get 275 for like eight or nine reps. And tonight I got it for 10, eight and eight, which is not a PR, but it's close. Uh, but. We're going to catch you at the house for a big topic I want to talk to y'all about. So, see you there. No, I haven't seen Brenton in a while. Get in the camera. You still can't see me. Get in the, like. Damn. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> you know who you look like? Jeff Cavalier. Does he not look like Jeff Cavalier? Look how white we look in this look. lighting. I promise you, we actually go out in the sun and stuff. We just... Well, I don't really actually go out Don't the tell sun. people that. That you want them to think that we're tan. You work on a ship, though, so... I asked Brenton if he would vlog with me today, and you saw how it went because you didn't see him at all until he was leaving. Uh, um, sorry. You've right. been in here benching for 50 minutes. Okay, he, Can uh... see? He, uh... 50 minutes he's been he, in here bench pressing. He doesn't know so. the grind of a bench press. You know what? I don't think I've seen you touch a flat bench in like two years. That's because you... What is that, in the Jeff Cavalier graveyard? <laughs> is it? You want me to say what I said to you, senior? Do you want me to say what nope. I said to you, senior year of high school? Don't put that in there, man. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't do it. All right, guys, we'll catch you later. We're going to uh, cut to him benching now. No, I'm done benching. Oh, right, what? You got to redo it. Okay, what am I? Where are you going? Say, next? all right, y'all are going to talk about steroids now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, actually I'm taking a cycle of wind straw right now, oh, gotcha. and I'm stacking it with some D-ball. Oh, um, yeah, I got some D-ball on the car. I actually call it my yak. Do you want some yak? I got some yak in my bag. Oh, yeah. Now go ahead and just cut in the video right here. <laughs> Alright, All right, guys, we're going to go do some, uh, Straight some in. steroids real quick. We'll catch y'all in the car. I don't know where you, I didn't, I didn't hear that. Remember what you did last time? I know, I know. Do you remember what you did last time? If you stuck with me this long, I appreciate you. You're a true follower. Back to the topic that you heard of at the beginning, ammo and steroids. And if you're, if you're a true friend of mine, or if you know me by any means, you obviously know that I am not on steroids. I'm a natural. And I actually, the main topic I want to talk to y'all about is my view on steroids and where I stand with with the word steroid. Now we're to begin on this. Oh my gosh, it's such a broad topic. Um, pretty much a steroid, what a lot of people think is, oh, if I take this, you know, my muscles are gonna be big and I'm gonna get jacked. Steroids also not only increase the growth of your muscles, but they also increase the growth of everything in your body pretty much, whether it be your heart, your liver, your spleen, etc. It grows everything. And no matter how safe you are with a steroid, no matter, uh, how many checkups you get at the doctor, no matter how many supports you get on, no matter how many liver supports you get on, you know, over time, if you were taking steroids so many, like so much throughout your life, it's gonna take a toll on you eventually. I just don't feel like it's worth it in my eyes to uh, take steroids for my life because I wanna be able to work out like until I, until I can't physically train anymore at an old, at an old, old age. And I just, I've heard too many scary stories about, you know, people dying at a young age because they took too many cycles and stuff. And now don't get me wrong, I understand if you want to get at the next level, whether it be bodybuilding or powerlifting, you've got, you, you just got to take them. I mean, you do. In the fitness industry, you have to take them if you want to make it as a pro. 
or as a pro in anything, whether it be uh, bodybuilding or powerlifting, you have to you have to go the extra mile with steroids. So I'm fully aware of that, and I know plenty of people in my life that take them, and I have no judgment towards them. Like I, it doesn't change my view on them because. Even though you are taking a steroid, you can't say, "Oh, since I'm taking a steroid, I'm gonna just get jacked immediately. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be great." Well, that's not the case. Like everybody that you see that is absolutely shredded, uh, that is absolutely strong, that is winning physique shows, that is winning powerlifting meets, that are on it, they are also grinding just as hard as those natties out there that just love fitness. I mean, you have to grind. You have to have a clean diet. You have to be strict on everything you do, and a lot of people, and that's where the word steroid gets twisted, they think, oh, he's on steroids, so he can go in the gym for 10 minutes and then be shredded. And that's not the case. You have to grind to make it to that next level. But I do not condone steroids. I do not think that uh, it is important enough in my life to take them because I just enjoy lifting way too much. And I don't really, I, I don't really want to worry about having to inject my, myself with something that I'm not even really sure what's in it. And I just don't want to have to worry about all those problems with my liver, my heart, everything. Like it's just, it plays such a factor in your over, overall health. And I just hate how the fitness industry goes around and they just tell people, hey, if, I, if you take this, you're gonna look like me. And that's not the case. Like everybody is different. Everybody has a different body type. If I gave you, which I want to do this one day, I really do want to do this one day, but if I gave you my workout plan and I said, if you do this, you're going to look like me, I would be lying through my teeth because everybody is different. You can't just say, oh, well, if you take whey protein, you know, you're going to get stronger and you're going to look like me. Oh, if you take, uh, if you take uh, cell tech creatine, uh, you're going to get jacked and strong immediately. And that's just, I'm telling you, like, the fitness industry is so dumb. Like, there's so many liars out there that claim they're natural when they're not and it just gives so many people a false image of what a true like a true natty that grinds can look like because a lot of people don't understand how far your body can go without having to take a steroid because i truly don't think i'm at my natural limit yet and i've been i've been i've been working out for what almost five years now and i'm not going to sit here and tell you oh if you do my workout you're going to look like me one day because if you want to be honest with you i don't even really I'm not satisfied yet with the way I look. I still feel like I have a lot of things to critique, but I, I'm not going to sit here and tell you if you do my regimen, you're going to look like me because you're not. Whatever you look like is who you are. It's who God images you to be. And I just don't feel like you need to compare yourself to somebody. Compare yourself to your own body. Don't compare your body to another body. Compare your body to your own body and, you know, critique it, you know, uh, chisel it. And that's where I stand with steroids. Uh, if it's your body, I mean, I'm not telling you not to take them. I'm not telling you to take them. I'm just telling you my thought on it. But uh, my thoughts and my opinions, because everybody's different. I mean, if you want to take them, if you truly feel like you, you need to, that's your life, that's your decision. I'm not gonna judge you for it, because I have plenty, like I said, I have plenty of friends of mine that are on them. And I know plenty of people that w were on them, and it really didn't do anything for them, because it's all about the grind and all about the diet and all about your work ethic but uh that's pretty much it i'm gonna stop it there because this is gonna be a long video to begin with but hope you enjoy the vlog thank you and we'll see you in the next one